Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to Around the Comicverse, episode 67. We've got your boy, the real Randy Chavez, and we have Queen Vivi, who's on her way. She's just running behind. Um, uh, Crypto Rain was also supposed to make it today. Unfortunately, he's not feeling 100%, so he couldn't make it. Um, but yeah, thanks thanks for coming on today, uh, Randy. And I don't know if you guys can hear that background. The, the rain's going crazy out here. Um, did you see what Vivi just posted? Just now? Yeah. I don't know oh. if this is real. Um, so they said, introducing the future of collecting with DAI vid, featuring multiple colorways, a collect and sniff sensor, and even, all right, there's no way, there's no way this is, this is real. Uh, it's definitely April Fool's. April, it's definitely an April Fool's. Um, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just takes you right to the, right to the site. Uh, <laughs> okay. I was like, there's no way. When as soon as they said scratch and sniff, I was like, that's impossible. Uh, <laughs> um yeah, nothing on the internet is real today. I would not uh they got me, bro. That's the second time that someone oh, yeah, got me today. <laughs> so was he was he at your whale week as well? Um he was at the whale week last week or the week before last week, two weeks ago, give or take. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's and cool. then um uh, I saw Doctor Stuff for one um, uh, for one night too. It was there. I got to meet a couple people, so that was nice. And that yeah, two two is greater than one. Got <laughs> uh, awesome. so let's see. We've got a bunch of stuff to go over tonight. We have what I guess we should start from from last night. Um, after <laughs> yeah, um, are are you a part of Chuck? I I am uh, I am part of, part of the Chuck okay. movement. Yes. So I typically don't get involved in meme coins that I don't have any that I don't work in. But tell us about Chuck. What is uh, what is it? Who's behind it? Are they doxxed? Do they have any utility? Awesome. Okay, so I'll um I'll just pull up my screen because that'll be easier because then we can um we can see it because it's it's really obviously it's a meme coin, um and so it's all about being funny and uh, just having fun memes. Here we go. Uh, let's see if I can pull this up. Because I basically I've never seen... I can't sh I can't it's supposed to be like an anonymous team, so I can't share who who created it. Um, oh, but I will dude. say that they I trust them hundred percent that it's not a rug pull. Um I've put well, seven thousand dollars into it. Can you guys see that? You guys see my screen? Yeah, so wait, so so you know who's behind it? I may or may not know who's behind it. Yeah. Okay, because so, I that's why I'll just check I'll check just this another meme on. Why would anyone want to see that? Oh, Chuck dude. will never be great. Let him cook. Let him cook now. Let him cook. I said, let him cook. So basically, yeah, it's, it's like a dog Chuck Norris. So I, it's it's a new main point on Base Network, and Base is just sort of uh, taking over, taking over all of it. Okay, so it's I've never seen meme. the. Uh, multiple people in the community gather around one meme coin. So it's you, it's Danny the Bull, it's VV Viral, R Bear. I saw. There's a couple other people. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Chris Coffee. Chris Coffee put in his YouTube channel as well. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Superstars Money. That guy. He um, he did it as All right, well. All right. So I, I I mean you got I I get it. Meme coins are for having fun, and everyone's allowed yes. to do what they want, and it's. You know what, YOLO to the moon. Um, that could do a hundred X because it doesn't make sense and crypto does 100%. things that doesn't make sense. Man, it's, but, it makes um, no sense to me at all. But man, that gets really fun. It's just like it brings back that silliness. And and the thing is it's based on Chuck. Chuck Norris had a dog called Big Big yeah, Bigsby. And um and so uh it's named Chuck because it makes more sense. And it's sort of like Chuck as a dog, because it's got the red bandana and everything, and just all these silly Chuck memes, like you know, uh Chuck, Chuck had a staring contest with the with the sun, and uh, the sun had to look away. Just lots of yeah. lots of really silly jokes to be made. Lots of fun memes. It's just a silly fun meme that probably will go crazy. There's one on um, Base Network called Brett. If you know that, yeah, I know Brett. I mean, really I, I don't know if we should say it probably goes crazy, um, but oh, so it so Randy has been out two days, right? This is the third day, I think. Yeah, I think we're the third day now. It's already at. Uh, it's about to hit four million market cap. Yesterday nah. it was two million market cap. The first day it was one million. So it's going up very steadily. Uh, it's got a thousand holders now. Um, 
Uh, it is, I think they've got three or 4,000 on Twitter now. This is all brand new. Like this is all within a few days. It's, it's definitely getting that momentum. It's got a lot of people just having fun of it. Like no one's too serious about it. It's don't put crazy money in guys. Uh, obviously not financial advice ever on this channel. Don't put crazy money in. It's just a don't lot put of crazy fun. money in. put seven grand yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I put 7,000 in, right. But, I know. <laughs> uh, but you know, I got in very, very early and I'm already up a huge amount. Like I think I'm, I'm probably at $30,000 in, in profit or something now. Nice. Um, obviously you can't, I can't take it out. It would crash the price. You know, there's a whole bunch of hodlers in there. Um, cool. You know, uh, they've got a lot of liquidity. It's got six hundred thousand uh, dollars of liquidity that's locked, which means that it's not a rug pull. They can't just. So what happens, uh, Randy? You, 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 I guess you know how rug pulls work. That if the liquidity is not locked, they can just take it out whenever they like, and then suddenly you can't trade it. Yeah. Um, so it's not like that. Uh, yo, Queen BB. Hello, hi guys. We hi. can't see you. You're like a shadowy figure. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Oh it's all good. Can you're you see? My, can you see my queenliness? Yeah, we can see your queen. queen. Yes. Okay. Why does that well, sound dirty? We're just gonna go with that for for a few minutes. Okay, okay. Until I can get my shit together. No, no okay, worries. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, thanks for coming on, Queen Baby, as well. Um, uh, yeah, so Rain was supposed to come on, and he said he couldn't make it, so I I made sure we got. We try and get. We want to get four to five people on this show at once, but uh, you know, two or three, whatever. I was gonna look. I was I was tempted to do the show by myself today if if you could make it as well, Randy, and um and Laurie didn't come on. I've never done a solo show for around the Coneyverse. It would be something a little bit different. To yeah. Just do. You have to like uh, talk to yourself. Yeah. So what what's like Omi Omi has some good stuff happening now, Randy. What's what's the latest that uh, you want to talk about? Uh. Well, we got the bronze tickets. Uh, last night, so it's total 350. Um, there is, I think, if you do all of them at at once, it's about, I think, like 1,900 points. And so people are like, okay, well, that's a that's not a lot of points. That's less than half of the uh, what do you call it? It's less than half of what you would need for a minimum bet. But the bronze tickets, I don't think, are really for you know for 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 bidding. The bronze tickets, I think, for bringing up your level, so that if you're you know, diamond two, diamond one, whatever, and and you have a couple hundred points or like a thousand points per day, uh, and then you want to be a master collector for a drop because there will be drops where you need to be a master collector to go for it. You can go and take all of your uh, bronze tickets, uh, redeem them for MCP points. So th that's that's going to be a real thing. And there's likely going to be other things and other reasons uh, to have bronze tickets as well. Uh, outside of MCP points. Well, you'll get them for that to raise your level, and then you'll also get MCP points in order to go and have uh, those microtransactions to go and get you a cape, all the accessories that you want for your collectibles. And then at the end of the, uh, at the end of that, you're likely going to have bronze tickets for crafting and other things as well. Awesome, awesome! It's really, really exciting. And so, obviously, we heard about the MEXC exchange with the tokens moving over, and I know they've moved around more. And um, hopefully, that's in the pipe work, pipeline. Um, mm -hmm. and I think someone said that you've got some BitForex updates you, you talked about on your stream the other day. Do you know if that's happening? Um, uh, yeah, so there was a Foster had posted in the Akomi Discord that David had reached out to the team. The team hasn't gotten back yet, but there are some rumors that the uh, there was some guy that used to work for BitForex. I think he was like an ex-CEO. And he went over and he just said, hey, uh, I actually spoke to the team. It looks like they are working with the Chinese police or the Chinese government and that they are they're working towards getting getting up and running. So whatever fee they have to pay or whatever, like they'll do it, like they'll play by those rules uh, and then they'll they'll continue operating. So, again, that's the rumor right now. Nothing's really confirmed until Lakomi comes out and confirms it. But yeah. that's the rumor. So there is a possibility that people are able to go and get their own back. Awesome. That that would be really good for them. Um, maybe some people would dump. Maybe not not too many. Um, I know Omi price has been relatively stable lately. Hasn't been moving too much. Hopefully, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, do you think Omi NFT is coming out soon? Because I thought I thought that would be like yeah, it'll be Q two. The next. It I, I mean, cool. it, it could it could be this week or it could be the last week in June and two and a half. You know, like 10, 11 weeks from now. Um, yeah. So James Brown. So I, I mean, I'm gonna go and and be super conservative and say it'll it'll come in june 
Um, but if I want to be a little bit, you know, excited, a little bit moon boyish, I'll be like, okay, even if it comes, if it comes in early June, we might get the article for it in late May explaining everything. So, so that might be possible as well, but, but it should definitely come in Q2. Awesome. Yeah. And so, uh, Queen Vivi, how are you going there? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I saw there was the, the Gwen drop. Did you guys go for it? Yeah, I did. Uh, I got it. My husband got it. So I heard it looks a lot better in the app. Is that, can you guys confirm this? I don't think it looks as bad as what everybody's saying. I, I mean, I don't get it. But I, I don't know. I just saw it in the app. So, I mean... Her nose is a little bit piggy, but other than that, I don't think it looks that bad. I, I I don't know what people are seeing, but then again, I'm not that well sighted either. But I don't think it looks I don't think it looks bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Randy. What do you think? Do you think it looks bad? Do you get? It, I think it looks fine. Um, I, I there's a couple. It depends on which comic you're looking at, but there's a couple of comic panels where like, oh, that looks exactly like her. Uh, and then there's a couple panels like, oh, okay, I can see why people don't like this look and they prefer this look. Um, I think it's fine. And if and if you don't like the face, you could just keep the mask on. Like you can't take the mask off of the any of the Spider-Man that we have, whether it's Peter Parker or the Miles Morales or any of the Mighty Spidey 2099. So this is just um, that's just an extra bonus if you want to look at her. Um, I, I think I think it's fine. Um, I, I got one off the drop. I bid five thousand points for it. Oh, you put points up. Yeah, because I, I I knew that there was going to be people that, I mean, everyone that has a Miles is going to want one of her. So figure that multiple people have multiple Miles. Figure out of the 1750, maybe only 1,000 people have Miles. That's still about half the people that would just right. get her right right away, right. not including other fans. Um, so that's because of, uh, Randy, that's because of Spider-Verse? Because they, they're together in Spider-Verse? Is that uh, well? Yeah, and they they're in they're together in the Spider Verse, and they're also together in Spidey and his amazing friends. I think the the new like kid show on Disney Plus. Uh, it's been running for a few years, and it's it's super popular. Um, I think but, I watched it with my kids once. Yeah, I think I watched it with my kids once. It's a, it's a young one, right? For like yeah, like, they're like super little toddlers and stuff. The the violence is like not that violent. It's like I, I've never seen it, so I don't uh, it, probably okay. yeah probably probably not violent. Um. But the, yeah, she's, um, but I mean, she's in, she's a kid. I still think, I think they're all around the same age, like in high school, they're supposed to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. and I think that's kind of the most relatable stories that everyone really likes because maybe not everyone's been to college, you know, not everyone's had certain jobs, but everyone's been to high school mostly. So, so those stories of, uh, of her, you know, just being a normal high school kid, like those are the ones that people identify with a lot. Yep, yep. Awesome. And you're looking forward to uh, Deadpool coming out this year? Oh, yeah. That's, is that's, that, I, I've, 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 I've shown you my uh, cosplays, right? Of Deadpool and, and, uh, yeah, Wolverine. you love Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's going to be really fun. They, they've got a lot of, like, I think Marvel's still got a decent amount of fun movies coming out this year. Um, are they, there's a Wolverine one they're working on, right? Is that coming? You know, if that's coming no, out this it, year? Uh, there's only one Marvel movie coming out this year for the MCU, oh, okay. and that's Deadpool 3. Okay, so that'll just yeah. be that'll be it for this year. Yeah. I know that they they were pushing some of the other movies away, like the Avengers Secret Wars, right? That'll be twenty twenty five, I think. Uh twenty six. Oh man, I can't wait yeah. that long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like uh, the Marvel. Twenty five was supposed to be Kang Dynasty, but then he. You Ooh, know. Nice keyboard. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm having a horrible time. I'm so sorry. It's all good. <laughs> We love you, Creepy. Um, but but yeah, the 2020 so 2025, we're supposed to get Kang Dynasty. We still might get that. We might not. They might change yep. it to Doctor Doom. Um, Henry Cavill was rumored to play Doctor Doom, but he's actually gonna be playing a version of Wolverine in Deadpool 3. So Deadpool 3, you'll have all the cameos. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can't mm -hmm. wait. Yeah, I saw the I saw the preview. Um I try and avoid previews because they give away a lot of the movie, but when they're really fun, it's it's, it's awesome. I, there, there's going to be every single cameo that you could think of in Deadpool three, and I cannot wait. Awesome. Is that June? Do you know the date on it? 
Uh, it'll be July 25th. So if anyone's going to uh, San Diego Comic-Con on that Thursday night, a bunch of us are all going to go see the movie. There's like 50 of us so far, 60 of us, give or take. So we might just That's rent cool. out a whole theater. Not, not a whole ra theater. But rating but... taking over the theater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could. Uh, let's see. So that would uh, be nice. You, uh, James Woods has May for the article. April, May. Was that, was that, Laurie? I asked Randy um, if he was actually getting tickets or were you going to go work with Vivi or you don't know yet? Um, Vivi Fambam is handling it. Um, I, I I just defer to her. I've mentioned on my vi on my videos a couple of times, like, oh, if you want, go and message her and she'll go and get your name on the list. I, I don't know. So I asked David about it and he's like, we, we can just make sure we do the gold logo party and the Vivi party on a night that's not that Thursday. Uh, I was like, OK, that'll work. So um, and and he's obviously invited too. I don't know if he'll come. Um, they might ju he might just be in meetings at, at that night or at a party or whatever networking. That'd be great if he can come though. Him and Dan. Okay, this is for you, Randy. Uh, e two, which I guess is Earth two. White paper looks great. Yeah, they came out at like five o'clock this morning. Uh, I went live at like eight with this guy Aria Realty or Crypto Aria, and he um um it looks amazing, and I. I was wrong when I thought that the the total supply would be between three and a half and four billion. It's only going to be a one billion uh, essence supply. It is going to be have much more utility than I thought. I thought we can get dozens of dollars. Now it seems like it's possible where you get a hundred dollar essence at some point. Um, and that's and that's at the height of the bull market when things go crazy. Uh, at at first, you might get people that are that are just going to have, what, what would we call it? You, you might just get people that'll sell at like 10 or 25 cents, which I'm really hoping for. And I'll put in like 10K, 20K. I know a bunch of people that'll put in tens of thousands, if not if not six figures at that price. Uh, once it gets to a couple dollars though, then they'll, that'll cool off. But then, you know, newer retail people come in. They, they I, obviously I'm all in on Omi. You know, the VVverse I think is going to be amazing, but you know, they they have a lot more active monthly active users. They have a lot more people that have the essence token already, and it's not even launched. Um, this is that's going to be really big. So I'm and do they have a date for the launch? Uh, it'll be in May. They they said late April or May, but I'm have just they been say. speaking to David? You <laughs> May. <Yeah. laughs> but but again, so what they're doing is, and and this is why I I was completely fine with you know the Akomi being delayed for a little while is because Earth two. <laughs> We were supposed to have our, uh, we were supposed to have the token launch, you know, two years ago, uh, and then you know Russia invaded Ukraine, then FTX happened, and it's like, okay, we're not doing it now in a bear market. They waited for the bull market. You know, they just had the white paper. It'll launch after the Bitcoin halving, and they're they're only going on Uniswap at first, and then they'll have slowly but steadily, one exchange, two exchange, three exchange. Um, they're not going on Coinbase right away. They're not going on KuCoin right away. They're not going on Binance. They could very well get it out there if they want to. But again, they're also very worried about the um holy crap. Holy crap, regular. Randy. What's up? Someone just put fourteen thousand dollars into Chuck. I wonder if that's someone watching. Because this guy just said he got Chuck. Was that the guy that said I got Chuck? It just it just jumped up uh from three point eight million to four million market cap. That's crazy. <laughs> Who did it? Was it you, Hitman? What do you think about MFers? Um, yeah, I saw that too. Uh, actually, I didn't look into it at all. I just saw that it is done really well. It's in the hundreds of millions now, I think. It's on base as well. Yeah, I um, yeah. So I, I saw that do really well, and and I think there's um fork. I think someone put in like eight hundred grand themselves just to put the liquidity pool for the liquidity pool for fork, uh, to prepare for big whales. Like there's there's a lot of really really interesting meme coins out there. The cat yeah, has so their. Any, if, so you, um, basically, like Solana was a big meme coin one up until last week. And last week onwards, if you look at the stats, um, Base has been destroying Solana in terms of like uh, mm. meme coin transactions and, and volume and all that stuff. So uh, I think Base is the new Solana. F they're, they're both, obviously, Solana's huge. They're both going to compete in the same space. And that's yeah. fine. But it looks like a lot of people are moving their money over to base, or at least base is getting a lot more attention now. So that's oh, yeah. why it wasn't and, the and, MFers on base. The the one yeah, on ETH yeah, is the uh, original one. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. But yeah, the one on ETH is the OG. Um, is uh, no meme coin has hit one billion dollar market cap on base yet. So it's a base yeah. race, right? <laughs> and uh um 
you know, I don't know what. Okay, so yeah, that I just looked at the wallet of that dude. He's got five million Chuck. Um, yeah. So uh, the other things that he has is Corogo and Dgen. Oh well, he knows what he's talking about then, because Dgen's done super well. I don't know what the other one was. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, but yeah, so so Earth Two, if that does what I think it will, and just I think in the first couple weeks, let's say late May, early June, by the end of Q2, that's a couple dollars. You know, I have forty thousand of those, so I mean, you know, three dollars, one hundred twenty k. If if we're still down here with Omi, I'll I'll put. 40 percent of that in, in the omi that's awesome so yeah. you, um you you're still not convinced of diversifying it's, it's um, uh... yes and no i mean i know that so you know the, the not the rule but it's like hey you should treat yourself like somebody that you love like treat yourself as if you would treat someone that that you love like, let's say, like, you love your dog. Okay, you want to go out and take your dog for walks three times a day. You want to make sure that they're on the best food. You want to, and, you know, so you diet and exercise your dog and you, you play with them. And then it's like, for yourself, oh, I'm just going to sit around all day. Oh, I'll eat McDonald's. I'll do whatever. Um, for my, the people that I'm advising, it's like, okay, let me get a bunch of you guys into Flow. Because Flow is a lot less risky than anything else out there. It's in the top 100s on all these exchanges. They don't just have one thing, you know, like, like. You know, uh, Omi has Vivi and, and all those licenses. That's great. But, you know, they have NBA Top Shots. They have uh, NFL All Day. They have UFC Strike. Disney Pinnacles on them. They have a bunch of other developers. Yeah, developing I, got a bunch of flow. I, bought, I bought a bunch of Flow as well. And, um, you know, I have them in Definity uh, as well because that's going to be, oh, God, that could do like a 300. It's done well. Definity's done pretty well for me as well. Well, the, the last, like, hour, it's down like 40%. <laughs> but Oh, no. The, well, the whole well, market's no. red today. It's a red that's day. great you need like this is a perfect buying opportunity and if it stays down there in the next couple weeks um I'll, I'll be buying a lot more of that for them and then i have them in a bunch of bumper i'll get them into a bunch of other things as well um so but but for me though because it's it's just me and i have that that high enough high enough risk tolerance or i'm not married i don't have kids i don't have anything i i know what omi's gonna do and yeah that's um I'll just Maybe I'll diversify here, a little bit in something else. Uh, he wants to buy Chuck. Just go to chuckonbase.io and it has all the links through to it. You buy it on Uniswap with, on Base Network. It's not on Solana. It's on Base. That's what Chuck on Base. Cool. That's all. Um, sorry, Randy. Didn't want to cut you off. Just like, I don't want that guy to buy. So what happened, Randy, is as soon as Chuck launched, a fake one launched. So it was a fake Chuck. And so some people put money into the fake one and they got rug pulled, which is Rip. really really unfortunate it happens all the time with meme coins people make fake ones and the fake one now it's still around but it has no liquidity so i think i just don't want him or anyone else to buy the fake one so definitely make sure you click on the official links and just be really careful with the contract address make sure you don't buy fake dodgy meme coin ones and and, and this is why like uh, i mean i know you say you like i feel like you're alluding to that you do know who's behind it but if, if there's someone that's not doxed I'm immediately not going to trust. I, like, I yeah, can't no, that's it. that's fine. But I, I think majority of the big meme coins aren't doxed. Majority of the big ones aren't doxed. Um, yeah. yeah, there's not there's not many I can think of that actually are doxed. Maybe Dogecoin were they were they doxed? Even then, they back in the day, were, the, the original ones were. I don't know. But the people took over, that. right? Other people took over. The the original yeah. developers stopped developing on it. Yeah. Hey, Laurie, they, I, we can see you. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm here. I'm here now. You just get out of the shower? I am. Yeah. 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 Oh, man, so I, I haven't have... eaten yet. I'm super hungry. It's uh, 9 a.m. in the morning for me. Do um. Oh, this guy's saying it's Docs. It's you know Sean. Okay. That doesn't sound like a real name. <laughs> That's uh, this is one of the guys in the Omi VV community. But I, I assume that maybe you can look up that and find out his real name. I don't know. Yeah. And. Um, uh uh, so did you guys get your bronze tickets last night? I actually haven't checked, but I should have 350. Well, I, I mean, I can check it right now. Let's see. Sweet. Yeah, we got we each got 350 as well. Um, I'm waiting for these super scarce drops. Have you guys had? Um, you guys see the Spider Man one that that was uh, announced today? I did. I did. That's gonna be. Yeah, that's this is a Venom, right? Is that Venom? Uh, it's this. It's a Venom symbiote. 
So like it's still it's it's Spider Man, but it's it's the it's not it's Spider Man in the in the symbiote suit. It's it's not Venom. Like it, it's not uh, what's his name? I forget the dude that plays his name. Tom Hardy's character. Like the Spidey um, symbiote suit is is different. Log into my VV to check if I got my my uh, bronze tickets, and I'll put it on the screen once we're logged in. And then, here we go, uh, here we go, here we go. Is it you guys can't see anything? Share screen. She better at this by now. Okay, here we go. Check that out. Got my 350 tickets. Woohoo! Nice. And what's the redeem button do? Uh no, don't redeem. Don't redeem. <laughs> so you push that button and you instantly get MCP points. Well, like you, you redeem your tickets and you get more MCP points, but then you know, you redeem those tickets. I, I think there's going to be more of those tickets to meet the eye in the future. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I got them. I, I saw someone got 349, even though they had the 10 million Omi. Yeah, I think that's going to, um, I think that'll be rectified because they, they have like 9,999,000. Like the, the way they rounded it was, was weird, but I think they'll rectify that for them to get the full 350. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, so they didn't really have 10 million. Is that what you're saying, they, Randy? Yeah, they, they like it showed 10 million on the app, but it on like a muta scan or whatever it was, it showed like nine million, nine like nine repeating. And it just and that's why it had the like rounded down for some reason. Gotcha. Yeah. That is some um, crazy stuff. We had a oh, Donnie you know? sell yesterday. What cheeks is on uh the chat there? You can click redeem, it just loads a page where you can choose oh, okay. cool beans, cool beans. or choose not to. It Thank you, but Yeah, I was worried that you just push the button, does it instantly. Yeah, I, I did just in case I didn't click it. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Uh, Hitman's asking, when is it going to be listed on CoinGecko? All the applications are in for CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap. You can look on the um, Twitter page, uh, Chuck on Base on the Twitter page. It shows the uh, application numbers and all that. So it's coming, it's coming soon. It's only two days old, three days old. Like, not even the th full third day yet. Nice. This guy is too up on Chuck. Nice. Sleeping, yo, sleeping. How you going? My bay. We we're gonna get him. sleeping back on here. We haven't had sleeping on for sleeping on. Oh day. yeah, I miss my bay. Mm. <laughs> be fun. Yeah, sleeping he did has a, some um, stories. Sleeping has I stories. Who who was it? Sleeping did a live stream uh, with a couple of others recently. Who was it? I think he was on my collectibles recently, or yeah, my collectibles. Or sleeping and someone else. Like, yeah, that's cool. Um, Good cheeks, yeah. If you put some tickets in there, it would be show you the MCP you get before. Okay, that's cool. That's good that mm -hmm. there's a warning and so yeah. you don't just lose it all. Hey, Foster. Easter. Easter was yesterday, Foster. It maybe depends not, where you are. Maybe not in Canada, Randy. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Canadians. Canadian. Oh, we got the whole VV Omi fam coming out. <laughs> so the, the, we had a Donnie sell yesterday. And yeah. we haven't had, haven't had a Donnie what for? Sell. That must be high price. I think, like, I think 19K. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, almost 20. Yeah. I'm, I was surprised by that. I really was surprised by that. Um, Omar, no. <laughs> he burnt all his MCP points. <laughs> oh, poor Omar. <laughs> <laughs> he burnt all, or not his MCP points, his, his uh, bronze tickets. Oh, man. Belated. All right, there you go, Foster. Um, there was Doctor Stuff had posted. There we go. It was about, Ah, that's what it was. Doctor Stuff had posted about the new Spider-Man, saying like, "Oh, I'm definitely getting this one. It's definitely selling out." I said, "Yeah, I'll probably put about ten thousand MCP points for that." Uh, and he he just immediately said, "That's not going to be enough," uh, which it, it it might not be. How many are you guys putting out for the new Spider-Man? I haven't thought about it yet, but I I think you're going to need them for sure. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know, but I th I agree. I don't think ten is going to be enough. How many are there? Are there twenty two hundred? Is that? I think they're twenty five. Uh, let me check. What's Have it on mine. Um, it is twenty five twenty. So that really means twenty four thirty. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably put a little bit more than that. I th I think this one's going to be a good one. I think a lot of people are going to want it. Um, yeah. I'm excited for this one. Sleeping says 50k MCP. 
Nice. Oh my God. Okay. All right. So people are going ham on this. Um, it's, it's today in Canada. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. I will never understand the Canadians. I'm going Canadian. to throw our. I, I want to. I want to make like a joke hit piece on Foster Hill, because like after you know spending various nights with him in the same hotel room in the same bed, you know we know each other pretty well, and um, one of the things I want to say is just like Foster pronounces bagel as bagel. Is this what you want for your Comey community manager to say bagel? <laughs> but I feel like it would just be received wrong. <laughs> Foster, we're gonna get you up here so you can defend yourself. <laughs> Against the bagel. Um, as a Foster, New Yorker, I was so offended. <laughs> Foster, if you want to come on, just uh, just telegram me up if you want to come on full stuff. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, all right. So other news we got here. Let's see. Uh, we have the oh, we have um, Lo, yeah, he's laughing. We got um, Mo Me or Mao Me that has 300 commons, 11 secret rare stormtrooper. We have Low Mint Mick that has 501 commons. I think that's the biggest stack of anything that we have on here. Um, are you guys stacking anything right now? I'm I'm just hodling my VV collectibles. I I, uh, I haven't sold any in like two years. No. Um, I'm just slowly getting the ones. I, I just pick up the ones I really like. And just uh, I've got I've got a lot of Lamborghinis lately. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. Who are you, Lori? Not really. I was actually hoping to stack stormtroopers because I I thought this was going to be a good drop. I'm I'm really surprised people were were surprised how quickly they sold out. Um, I feel like a lot of people have been surprised with some of the recent sellouts lately. I also you know heard people saying Spider Gwen wasn't going to sell out, and it's like you know they've they've been killing it lately. Um, but I was really disappointed. Obviously, I know why now. Low meant Mick, but I were I was disappointed. I thought that they would come back down. And I was thinking like anything under ten dollars, just just keep picking those up, you know. And yeah. it, and it just hasn't, you know, it hasn't happened because I think everyone else was kind of doing the same thing. So um, I think I would have, you know, picked those up, but they just, I mean, they're what eighteen dollars now in the market, seventeen dollars now in the market. But I, yeah. I think that that's a good pickup all day now if they get fifteen or lower, because um, they don't look like they're going back, you know. Yeah. They, they just don't. But no, um, I was in the comics last night <clears throat> and there were so many good looking deals in the comics. Like, oh my God, it was hard in the comics. Like the mouse, um, the original mouse was, uh, I think the ultra rare, I, I saw one for 120 and I was like, oh, like, oh, there were, there were just so many good ones there. And, um, <laughs> oh, Pink Panther's, uh, throwing shots at Fosty. Oh, he's salty. Uh, I mean, look, it's not even Foster's fault, right? Foster's just a messenger. He didn't set any of the numbers and stuff. I, I was talking... Oh, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, Foster made a, a tweet yesterday, or he responded to somebody. I'll try to find it now. Or maybe, he, or maybe I just didn't get to screenshot it. But it was just saying that it's just meant to complement your collecting journey. Like, you're already getting... 60 or 640 points per day for staking 10 million omi it's like you're already getting a lot it's just something that is again it's complementing it it's a bonus it's an addition to I, I feel like a lot of people they just want something for nothing and you know i feel like and I, I feel like such a boomer and like oh you know this new, this new generation they just want everything for free they have no work ethic you know and and maybe part of that's true but also um I don't, I don't know. Am I being a boomer there? Am I am I just being like one of the old oh, picker stuff up by your bootstraps? Or or is there some validity to what I say? I'm I'm trying to be objective here. I don't know if I can though. You, you know, I yeah. I was gonna say I, I get that per perspective for sure, Randy. You know, that that it's complimentary, but I, I just think some people took offense, not offense, but it was like if you had ten dollars or or not even ten dollars in Omi staked, you got fifty or 49 or whatever it was. I think it was 50, but yet you have 10 million, you know, staked and you get 350. So, you know, once again, maybe it could have just been like, if you have anything staked at all, this is the minimum, you know, X points. But I think just instead by giving somebody and then people going on there saying, you know, I have seven Omi and I got 50 bronze tickets. And I'm like, I have 
10 million owe me and I got 350. Like that just doesn't compute for some people. And I get that. Um, but I think they could have, you know, my husband and I were talking about this earlier. They could have helped themselves by just maybe just putting out like, if you have any money in, you're going to get a minimum of this. But it does look very disparaging when someone, you know, took put ten dollars in, you know, or ten omi or whatever it is, and someone has a, you know, ten million, and you're only getting seven x. But you, you know, I I I think it's more of the comparing um, that gets people than the not getting anything. No. Wes loves you, Lori. Sorry, hi Wes. <laughs> okay, I try, the president. Be, I try to be the voice of reason, and oh, and it's right. not Foster's fault or Puddin' Cheeks' fault. And I saw Puddin' Cheeks respond to a comment like, "Well, we want everyone to get involved," and and that's true. But I I think that's just tough for the people that are you know uh, just seven times more. That's that's a bit rough for some people to swallow. Yeah. Um. um. I, I also would definitely not use my MCP points now. Like if if there's a big drop coming up and you need to be master collector for it, then sure, by all means. But I I think there's more to here than meets the eye. Foster giving us you know hints over there saying, hey, the public only has 10% of the information. What other information is going to be released over the coming months? Um, yeah. yeah. Ryan I just wants, uh, NFT. Yeah. Oh, I Jen. I feel like that supermodel, I don't remember who said it, like the one who said, I don't even get out of bed for less than 50K. I feel like that with the bronze tickets, like <laughs> I'm not even going to bother with 4,000 MCP points. Like I'm not even going to go in there and click for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I, but it, it's a supplement and hopefully there's a little bit there more. There you go. Sleep it says we just need it. Foster, can you adjust it to 1 million bronze tickets per OMI, please? Well, if if Omi is a dollar, oh no, no, that wouldn't make sense. I was gonna say then then you can get a million bronze tickets to a million Omi, but that was a financial investment and a return, which it isn't, even though some wanted to. Be. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Good yeah. point. Uh, Ten million Omi, wow. I'm gonna get three, three, three. But the the VB zombie, when did you put your Ten million Omi in? Because you had to have it in from the very start. I think it was the first of January. So if you well, had it technically in, December 31st at like 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, give or take. Okay, so yeah. If um, you had it any time after that, you might have got a little bit less because of that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a mistake. Yeah. And um, so these are not um, these are not transferable, at least not yet. They might be transferable at some point. Um, and if they are then you might see a different valuation of what the market decides they should be worth uh, versus what they, it, again, that's if they, they make transfers, if they enable that. Um, yeah. And I'm they have sure. to be worth more than the MCP points as well, because yeah. they're going to want to be able to sell the bronze tickets. Right. Yeah. So, well, actually, I don't know, would they become transferable because they might cut their own throats because then the community would be buying off of each other versus buying bronze tickets from from vivi you know what oh, i mean that's possible, yeah. so west uh, west said that and then put cheeks says that uh so west says using mcp points doesn't affect your master collector status and then put cheeks says no west is incorrect so it does affect your <laughs> master collector status. can we put that on a shirt <laughs> um <laughs> go ahead Look, Brandon. I tried, I tried you told me last week because I, I thought the same thing i'm like i don't you're not going to change your status in one day but you can, right, Randy? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You you can if you have if you're only let's say you get like I have two thousand MCP points, you know, right now, you know, per day, and I get diamond one. So if I want to go and use my bronze tickets to go and try to make those MCP points, that'll up my points to I don't know, like 3,200, 3,400, give or take, and that will make me a master collector. So that'll go and if you want to go and do that, I, I would definitely save them for at least that not more in the future um but just we are for a day to, yeah just right. for a day and it would only make you yeah, just make you master collector for that day yeah <laughs> get the funniest comments any plan of doing around the chuck first no 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 we won't do that <laughs> um so we are going to get an airdrop um it was supposed to be i can make <laughs> thanks <what matters>. um <laughs> we are going to get an airdrop we don't know when uh foster hilt had uh, posted yesterday saying the airdrop was a decision made after the season began so that users did not have to choose between 
using their bronze six MCP redemption or crafting. So this way that these are they're just gonna be airdrop. Um, so there are no tiers. Uh, you shouldn't buy Omi just for the rewards. System is meant to complement user collecting journey. Okay, that was it. So airdrops. Uh, if you have 10 million Omi, that third airdrop that you'll get is going to be one of 577. It'll be pretty scarce. What do you guys want to see? Oh my gosh. My brain's blown. Someone just bought another $16,000 of Chuck. <laughs> nice. What was that? 4.5 million market cap. So since we've been going, it's gone from 4 million, well, 3.8 million to 4.5 million. $700,000 market cap gone up since uh, stream started. What is happening? These people time this? Do they just wait? <laughs> it's not me. I'm on stream. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm definitely not buying 16K in Chuck. Yeah, I'm not. Uh... <laughs> this one's um, all told Omi to buy Chuck. No, don't say that. That's going to upset everyone. <laughs> uh, I mean, if, if if you can go and, you know, flip something and then come in and buy back more, more power to you. Yeah, you buy back more, Omi. Everyone will be happy. With I, I'm too scared to do that because I know it can change in an instant. But, you know, if people can do that, you know, more I'm, I'm with you, Randy. I'm, I'm sort of hodling everything now. Um, I, like, I was thinking, I've, I've got a lot of different tokens now, but I was going to sell one of them. And you know, buy something, and it, it just is tricky, right? Like, like Crypto Rain says, don't chase green candles. Yeah, no, um, can't do that. So I'm just, I'm huddling everything I got. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where we are as well. <laughs> oh no, these comments. Turns out for, more <laughs> for three years and three days. Ripping pasta. Oh, no. So we do have David and Dan that are speaking two times this week. Tomorrow they will be speaking at. Uh, uh, that comic book podcast, I think, with Elite Comics. Uh, and then they will be speaking again on the 4th with uh, Vincent Zerzolo and David Quinn for VV's first YouTube premiere for the Addiction comic. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's good. I'm just telling the community to calm down with the Omi FUD. <laughs> the, I, I see it over there. To, be nice <laughs> to the Omi community. Come from a check if you're bagging Omi out. Okay, guys. Rip. Um, but, what's this James Wood in huddle mode? Yeah, it's we're, we're so close to the Bitcoin halving, right? We're like 20 days out, I think, around 20 days. 19, 19, I think it happens on the 19th. So, like yeah, I mean, I've seen Randy, I've seen it move like three times. There was like 19th, 20th, 23rd. I don't know what it is now. It depends on the blocks, right? And how fast they're, they're going through the blocks. So yeah, it, we could look at it fluctuate. here. What, uh, when is the Bitcoin having? Uh, I've even um, used multiple sites and have slightly sometimes have different answers as well. Uh, right now it says April twentieth. Um, yeah, but that's an old article. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah, it's. I think it fluctuates depending on how fast the blocks are. But anyway, it's within within like three weeks. Three weeks yeah. for the halving, guys. So it's not the best time to be moving in and out of tokens because uh, they can just fly off. Right. Obviously, today is a down day. So today's. Not yeah, really. I mean, other than, other than Chuck, which has just done like forty percent today. Other than that, most most tokens are, are going down. Omi, oh, here we go. Omi is a is and will be the best community. Yeah. I need Chuck a little to read the fud, but love <laughs> Omi. All right, cool, cool. So basically, everyone's just mucking about. I mean, most most you know, there's a lot of Omi homies. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. Oh, What's this? I... Oh no way! It is going to be four twenty. That would Bitcoin be, that'd be awesome. 420. What are the odds <laughs> of that? What are the odds of that? And, I, I, and Bitcoin price at 60. That would be simulation confirmed. A, <laughs> and isn't that um, Elon Musk was also born on like 420? Um, uh, there's a lot of famous people that were born on 420. Like, I don't know why I know this, but Hitler was born on 420. I, I It was just one of those random factoids that I... The joke, uh, joke from the universe. No, no. Elon was born, I think, 69 days after 420. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sometimes 69 yeah. and 4, 420. Yeah. yeah. Can well, you guys be crazy? see me? Am I here? Um, I, We can hear you, and we do see you, but you're frozen. Okay. Oh. Okay. But I thought so. Okay. It looks like you're giving the side eye to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can see me? Well, I, I, you're, you're frozen, so we see your face when it was last active. And oh, you're that's just, horrible! I'm coming oh, back. To I gotta, you. I can take a picture for you. No, no, stop! 
Stop. No, oh, I was so close to getting that book out. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said it. I should have just taken it. <laughs> Are you still in 4chan? Apparently it's mooning, Randy. Or did you get rid of it? Um, I am currently not. No! Florio is so close. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, no, the, the only thing I'm actively uh, in and working on is is the cat. All right, she's gone. Laura's gone. I, I will not get a What's picture. What's the cat's uh, mark cap? Is it, is it going well? Uh, it's like 2.3, 2.4, give or take. Um <laughs> There's a bunch of hollers. I, there'll be a lot more at money coming in after in like the next four to six weeks. And, and that's just from people I know um, that might that that could change beforehand. But uh, we have in other news, let's get back to the, let's try to get back on track here. So Stacker has a weekly recap uh, of VV. They have a weekly and a monthly recap. The weekly was 7,200 unique users, 28,000 transactions, $670,000 in trading volume or 670,000 in USD amount transacted across all markets and over 160,000 amount transacted from the VV store. Um, but that is not as good as the monthly. Monthly had 16,000 unique users, 185,000 transactions, over 5 million across all markets and 2.8 million directly from the store. I think this is a big improvement from January. What are your guys' thoughts? Yeah, I, I saw that. Um, we're still struggling with the users, but the the numbers, I, I mean, they they have to still be killing it. Um, and it seems like they're they're picking it up. Um, they did so well throughout this bear market, and um, with the bull cycle coming, it looks like you know that at least the NFTs are starting to pop a little bit more. So um, I thought the two hundred thousand transactions, Randy, was really. That seemed like really that seemed like a lot, but I guess that's including that what you buy off the market as well, right? That's all transactions, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's still a lot of freaking transactions in a month. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's great. So that's still that, that's still a lot of transactions. Yeah. And then um yeah, that's uh, slow but steady. It'll continue growing. Um we have, if anyone wants to get kind of recognized by the team, uh, Chris Severs had just gone and posted, uh, hey, digital collecting friends, I'm going to be writing for Go Collect. Please enjoy and share this blog below. Like he's done it before. And Corey mm -hmm. from the team had said, hey, that's great. Can't wait to see your articles. DM me the links when you publish so I can share with the team. So if you do write, and it doesn't have to be for a huge, huge blog, it could be for something relatively small. If you want to get in good with the team, write some. Write some positive articles. Hmm. Interesting. No. You good? <laughs> You're stretching All right. Way. It's still early for me. Ugh. I haven't had breakfast. Damn. Um, so April Fool's Day. Did you guys get did you guys get got today? Did you guys get uh so for me, I'm in Australia. It was yesterday for me. Oh, true. Did you get got yesterday? I I did not either. I had um not oh, really. I had it twice. Once was the um uh somebody was saying that there's a restaurant called the Rainforest Cafe. Um and it's a pretty good restaurant. And someone was just like, Oh, they're putting a rainforest cafe at the top of uh the Empire State Building, you'll be able to go enjoy good food. I was like, Oh yes. And then it was April Fool's. I was like, No. <laughs> they got me on that. Oh. Yeah. Same, Aren't those the Disney? Aren't those Disney? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like there was one at Disney or Universal or somewhere. Maybe so no. I um, what's your guys' favorite fan art of you? Do you guys have any examples at the ready? Fan art? Yeah, like like fans like they they draw you. Oh, I've got characters. stickers. People made stickers for me on Telegram. They're nice. really really funny. It's like. <laughs> buy more and it's um one of them is like i've seen some shit and it's got like a third eye opening up in, in between my eyes <laughs> and like yeah there's a few really funny ones oh it's so great what about I you Lori? i don't know uh sabet had done a, a sketch for me um when we were last year at um decon so I, I i like that one um do you remember were you there you were there right randy at decon last year yeah. um remember the after yes, was a cool yeah, one. I had the Squishmallow thing on. Yeah, I like that yeah. one. Good times. Um, so 
The reason I bring it up because somebody had posted, uh, or they didn't post, they just sent to me, just like the real Randy Chavez. But then they they decided to get like my receding hairline in all its glory. Um, you know, one of them has a hat, and that's really cool. But mm-hmm. they just they drew me so old. I was like, oh man, they <laughs> they they got me, bro. <laughs> Fans are savage sometimes. Yeah, you get quite a lot of. Um memes and you're yeah a mosque and a mosque yeah, randy gets a lot i see a lot of randy stuff <laughs> which is fun. Yeah. what's yeah. this big a won a car in vegas on a slot machine after eating rainforest cake in M- mgm that's Grand. amazing Grand. that's awesome oh my god good for you mate good for you i'm jelly i'm jealous Where, right. why why does west Come on here anymore. I don't understand. He just constantly fuds. Maybe make a ton of money and fortune uses the most losing. It's almost as if the parent company needs to be successful for the token to flourish and be successful. And I don't know how many times I have to explain that, but he might be but, talking maybe he's talking about the VV collectibles going down in price. And that, that happens sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm the sure grails go up though. Yeah. I, I get a lot of that on like my posts, like, hey guys, uh like yesterday, like VV grossed like eighty five thousand dollars in, in seconds because of Gwen Stacy. Uh, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, Vivi's just like milking its users. Like, OK, well, they're making a product and people want the product. And, you know, it's good for the parent company to go and make that money because then they have more money in the war chest. They get to go and get more IP. They get to go and squash the competition. They have money for exchanges. And I, I just feel like people are just not getting that because, you know, their their stuff isn't going up as fast as they would like. Yeah, but a lot of people also play the game, too. You know, there, there's yeah. a lot of people that go for things like, I think I just looked at it. It's 35. You know, a lot of those people were just going for a low min or maybe just to flip it or going for the 616. And they, you know, they really didn't necessarily want it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I, I don't know. Anything I get, I, I don't, I don't ever go after anything if I don't really want to have to keep it, I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. there's also people that, have no issue like, like let's say like they they go for that and and it's like i know a lot of us including myself is like okay why buy something for 40 and immediately sell for like 35 right. but you know if you have I, I don't know like hundreds of thousands in the bank account and you're like okay well i don't really want this collectible i'll just sell it and then okay i only really lose like eight dollars or whatever and then they can go and you know pull that slot machine again people yeah. do that for comics um you couldn't really do that for that one because it sold out yesterday um, and then you have people like, uh, Nick Caffey that have spent $1,200 yesterday, uh, 600 for a number 41 Tinkerbell and 600 for another 41 Tinkerbell. Um, yeah, he happened to get the secret rare and the ultra rare Tinkerbell's number 41's 600 piece. Um, gotcha. so yeah, people that are just, uh, just OP. So Donna's trying to buy track and I'll just send this. There you go. It's great. Pause yeah. it and have a look at that. I'll take. I'll get rid of that now. I'm doing uh, tech support for people. <laughs> <laughs> actually, funny because that's one of my old jobs was actually doing tech support, and sometimes I have to do phone calls and uh, all sorts of stuff. That was literally my job for. This is quite a, going ten years back, 12, 12 years back, a while a while ago. Randy uh, or Laurie, have you guys done anything like tech, technical support? It's a funny job. No. Well, yes, because I'm responsible for our um, learning management system. So I'm always doing support on that. And, but I'll tell you what, I was doing something the other day where, you know, you just screen share or you, you get into somebody's account, you know, through a proxy or something. And I remember like, this is the thing about, and I was just sitting there like thinking how nice it was back in the like old days you used to have to tell people like what you were seeing on your screen. Do you guys, do you remember that Jordan? Like you'd have to say, yes. well, yeah. this you'd is what I'm seeing. It. And then yeah. they'd say, well, are you seeing this little drop down tab? And I'm like, and I just remember the hell that, that tech. You had to imagine it. You had to imagine what they're seeing and you're yes. going to work it out and then you're going to describe it to them. It's absolutely oh. terribly different. And then they couldn't find it half the time. And now it's just like, I can't believe we ever did tech support or support before screen share or pro, you know a proxy but it used to be crazy i mean we would spend hours sometimes on with it like 
you know, oh, you got to do this and then type in this. Well, wait, did you put quotes in there? And so, you know, what a difference, what a difference tech support, you know, they've come a long way. Yeah. And, and now you can use things like team viewer, which lets you get on their computer. It makes it really, really easy because you can just see everything and you yeah. control the mouse, but they can also control it. So you can ask them, okay, navigate to the problem. They'll find it for you. And then you can take over from there. Yeah. I've been seeing with AI as well too. I am. Um, I had to make a couple appointments or, or get a refill and there were two phone calls I made and both of the assistants were AI and they both did everything right. And, and, you know, it's like, would you like me to ship to this address? Is this what you need? So, and it went so smoothly. And I was like, Ooh, damn, it, it was really impressive. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing advancements with AI too coming real quick. Um, I I see it on YouTube. AI, AI is insane. The um they they ask on StreamYard if you want to have the thumbnail be made by AI, and then on the YouTube when you make a video, it'll have a drop down thing. It's like, is anyone in here in this video made to look like they're saying something and they're not actually saying something? Uh, so that it's it's yeah, it's YouTube's kind of on top of it. They're trying to get um kind of be ahead of the curve there. Um, um yeah, in Facebook, do you guys use Facebook Messenger? You can, it's got like an AI section where you can make stickers. And so you oh, just that's cool. you type a text prompt and it may, it generates a sticker and they look awesome. So you have fun, with, pretty fun with that. Hmm. No. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of like in Google, uh, so in Google um, Gmail now, there's like, you can, you can just, it has AI built in. So you can just write me an email reply saying, yes, I can go to this meeting or whatever. And it'll just it'll make it look all pretty and professional. You can tell it the tone to use. Like there's they're starting to build AI into just about everything now to uh, to help out. It's it's going very well. And I uh, it's going too well. It's um I'm scared. Anyone else scared of it? Uh, um there's there's definitely some danger, right? But hopefully it doesn't end up like Terminator. I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, it's like, yeah we have. It's sort of goes, I think there's sort of two main paths. Either AI becomes our friend and helps us really well, or AI just sees us as ants and um, or, or sees us as the enemy. That would be the worst. As ants, you know, you don't step on an ant on purpose, but you might actually step on them. Uh, as an enemy, you try and exterminate them, right? <laughs> or, but as a friend, you try and help them. So it just depends. Uh, how How conscious does the AI become? Does it become like, like a human consciousness or is it a million times smarter than we can even imagine? And, I, I hope they see us as like puppies because, you know, you, everyone likes puppies. So I, you know, and if they want to help us like, Oh, it's trying to do like, you know, when like a puppy's trying to get up on the couch, Oh, you, you help them up. So if AI sees us like, Oh, they're, they're trying to get to space. Let's give them this little piece of tech so they can go into another planet. Um, <laughs> I think that would be cool. Chuck can clap with one hand. We're getting the Chuck jokes now. And that, so that's really that's the fun of this meme. It's just like you you probably grew up watching Chuck Norris, right? And it was just oh, so yeah. many jokes. Like he doesn't yeah. do push ups, he pushes the world down. Yeah. Like it's just the, under, the boogeyman like yeah. looks under his bed for Chuck Norris. That's right. Yeah, the boogeyman looks under his bed for Chuck, Chuck Norris. I love that one. All, yeah. all right. William just came and, and came up and said David just posted an AI video for VV on Instagram. That is uh that is an April Fool's joke. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <we're fine. laughs> yeah, yeah. They they got us before because it said like it's like oh it's a scratch and sniff and you know it's yeah it's not a <laughs> well, that'd be great. I would love it. That would be great. Okay, so so you guys got will. Yeah. Not me. If we stream for long enough, I think Chuck's going to get to five million market cap. That would, that's crazy. We're pumping your bags here, Jordan. Why yeah. is Chuck? Go Randy. Going, what? Tell me about Chuck. Like, is that? So it's it's Chuck. It's a dog. Are you? Oh, you weren't here at the start of the stream, so you missed it. I yeah. did. Is is yeah. yeah? Why is the BB community so into into Chuck? I think this is a few people that uh that got in early on it. Um, I'm mm. one of them. I was there on the launch, and. It was. It went crazy. It actually hit 5.5 or 6 million market cap in the first like five minutes. But half of that was bot buying. So bots buy early and then they try and dump on you. 
and then it, it it went it dropped all the way down to like sort of one million market cap and it stabilized from there and, it, okay. and it's only been going three days laurie it's three days okay. old and it's okay. flying like i'm i'm up a huge amount of money on it and uh i'm not selling anytime soon uh, laurie uh, it's on base do you know about the base network it's it's from coinbase so coinbase build like a layer two i think it basically is based on ethereum still uh, okay. probably zk sync or something i don't know the exact technology they use but it's a layer two um so you have to convert your ethereum to base network if you if you want to use it in metamask and uh it's it's now taking on like the biggest memes um all, all, the, all the people going to base now to find meme coins and like okay. there's there's heaps of going out to 100 million 200 million there's a couple that are 600 million market cap like brett and i think normie was one of them and it looks like but none of them have the meme ability that chuck does they don't have like a character like chuck norris and 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 all the funny jokes that go with it. So if they can get to 600 million without that, what's Chuck going to do? We, we this we think this could be the one billion dollar, you know, meme <laughs> coin. Not financial advice, guys. I could be wrong, but it's got a big enough community. It's already running like crazy. Uh, I'd be, you know, happy if it gets 100 million market cap. That would be absolutely awesome. That that means I'll be over over a million dollars for sure, just from Chuck. Wow. That's and, awesome. Yeah, and I don't want to I don't want to cash out all at once. But that would that would equal my full bag of all my other crypto that I've spent so much money and time on <laughs> for me to put in just a few thousand bucks and that just blows up. It's, I think memes are just silly at the moment, but I think they, uh, I think they're like, I know Randy, do you, have you noticed this? Memes seem to be bigger this year than they were last cycle. They yeah. Seem to be having a, more of a life of their own. Yeah. Last time was really just Doge and Shiba, right? Those are the main two. They took on it, most of the capital. Yeah. I mean, there, there were others. Disappear. They just weren't as big. And, yeah, and now yeah. you have like a lot more influencers. You have a lot more people, you know, kind of pumped in. So it's, yeah, it, it, they'll take on a life of its own. And, and that'll probably be forever. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention Chuck donates uh, 5%. There's a 5% sales tax. Aww, and they donate that to that. dog charities. That's oh. cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, so I forgot to tell you that, Randy. I know you like that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, like, that's I, awesome. If you go and look, they've actually got a white paper on the website, and it shows the charity they give the money to. So it's not like it's not like they're just making up stuff and not doing it. Uh, there's actually the I think it's Warriors Foundation or something. But you can you can check on the white paper they've got. Um, so that's that's another good thing that you can feel good that you're not just buying a meme coin and and trying to make money. You you can actually help. Um, you know, at some point we might be able to do something else and and be able to like, like donate as on top of that. That would be really, really cool. But five five percent is a decent amount, and it's for everybody yeah. selling. So if you if I go to cash out a million dollars, and they still leave because they eventually they'll take off the, the tax. But yeah, that would be that would be a fair bit of money going. Yeah, fifty thousand goes to that. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's nice. I wish Grumpy Cat gave to kitties. Uh, they they do have a thing. The cat is is um they do have a charity arm that they're they're building out. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, big guy saying last time was NFTs. This might be memes. Look, I think NFTs will have a cycle too. It might be. Yeah, the, the NFTs run cycle. late. They tend to run really late. That's what happened yeah. last. Like but, Bitcoin was going down, and NFTs were going nuts last time. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, people were taking money out and chuck it into the other stuff. Chuck is going but, to Valhalla base race beginning. Don't fade it. Yeah. All right. All right en enough about Chuck, guys. Jeez. All right, we'll uh, we'll bring it back. Uh, Planet Vampire commented on one of my videos the other day, saying he bought his fifth first appearance mini of the week. I feel like mini is something that is really overlooked. First appearance of that character uh, was on the Platinum Moments. There's like two thousand of her. There's about the same amount of her as there is uh, uh, Gwen Stacy, and you have just a I, I don't know. It's it's just super awesome. Um, I don't have her. I really want her. I think she's really undervalued at like eighty dollars. Um, do you guys have any first appearances that you think are overlooked? First appearances? Well, we we know you guys know the ones I like. They're literally all on my wall here. <laughs> oh, I meant first appearances on like the on VV. That that they've already done. They've already dropped. Yeah. Um, my favorite is Iron Man for sure, but I I like the second Iron Man, which is like not the first appearance one. That's my yeah. Favorite. That one's really fun to play with. Like he moves around and flies and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Um, there's a who is it? So Hawkeye. They they burned a bunch of stuff last night. They right. burned Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Kingpin, and something else. Flirt kittens. Oh yeah, flirt kittens one through four. They Queen Vivi. They burned the kitties. That, that is sick. 
That is just <laughs> sick. <laughs> um, so Hawkeye, I got really well. Not, I got pretty lucky with. I didn't have a Hawkeye, so I bought him for fifty bucks, and now he's. I was already only fifty nine. Ari's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um, Kate Bishop was under retail. Now she's over retail. She's fifty nine. Um, but Hawkeye, they literally have. What is it? Yeah, they burned five hundred fifty. Um, they burned nine hundred forty seven of them. There's only five fifty three of that Hawkeye, so that's pretty scarce. I do like that. Or Hawkeye, they can't let him yeah. be happy. Yeah, Will Will was talking about that last night. I think he he wanted to go buy some of the. I think he wanted to buy Hawkeye. I don't know if he did or not. Um, persevere. Keep keep that comment up for a sec. I need to take a picture of that. Okay, there we go. You're good. Um, something else that I noticed is that oh, fiber because it's cheap. Oh, that's true. I, yeah, there's a couple of those Hulk perseverances. Um. I noticed that every day there's like a couple hundred dollars worth of the Marvel Mighty's X-Men heroes that keeps getting bought. So like like last week there was like four thousand dollars left of blind boxes, and now there's forty four and thirty five. Okay, hold on, that's seventy nine plus the um twenty nine plus twenty four, so two plus nineteen plus ten, so that's plus twenty nine. And now there's uh, less than twenty five hundred worth, so it's a couple hundred dollars like per day. I wonder who's buying those. Do you, do you guys know? No idea. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. Can check in Stacker? Can you see that stuff in Stacker? You you can, but you have to you have to know. Oh yeah, I guess you could you could look at the collectible and see who's who's minting those, uh, who's buying them. So you could do that now if you wanna. Because the the only two that are above retail are Cyclops and Professor X, so they're they're kind of gambling. And Cyclops is not above like a lot. Cyclops is, is like sixteen dollars, sixteen seventy five. Morning, mm -hmm. baby Ben. Um, what do you say, Randy? Like put on stream? I I don't have. I actually don't use Stacker R at all. Oh, dude, Stacker's like the best, bro. Okay, hold on. Let, let's uh, let's take a look at this. I, know, I, I don't use it either. I yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of. VV related stuff. Their VV job listings is down to one. It's only a DevOps engineer, so they filled all the other positions. Do you know, do you know how many uh, total they have working there now? It must be over 100. I, yeah, I imagine about 100, give or take. I don't know how many are like full time that are there forever versus people that are just contracting that are like, all right, I'll be here for a couple months and that's it. So I don't know how many are temporary and how many are, are there like for life. But, um, all right, hold on. Who's my, Scott Summers? All right, Cyclops. Um, Take a look at him. The last one was bought. Vampire says stack is great, but it makes you spend more. <laughs> Prince P. Cola. No, Prince P. Cola got the Cyclops. Um, uh, I'll do a Jubilee. Jubilee was bought by, uh, I don't know, 08. 0x82, Tally Boy was from yesterday. Uh, so, so it's just random people that are just going and, I guess, trying to gamble. Um, but I, I think over the next couple of weeks, maybe the end of the month, that Marvel Mighty set might be might be done. I don't know why you would gamble on that, though, because like you said, everything's yeah. either, either, either under or the same price. I mean, that's a rough gamble right there. I, I think also, because when you buy something from the store... I think it's like 25 points, right? As opposed to buying something from the secondary, it's only like 15. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it might not be worth it. Um, but I mean, if it if it's just something that you want to do, is that like, and then you go to sell it right away, it doesn't matter. Or if you could hodl them. Yeah. But I don't know, like for for a complete set for this, it's I think after five collectibles, it's it's how many points? Like five points. Yeah. And then if you complete another set of it, it's only like 30% of the points. So it's only like you get like 1.78 points, give or take. Right. right. So yeah. I don't know if it would be worth it. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what would be driving people to buy that. I mean, I, sure, you know, yeah. I want this. I don't let me know how weird this is. When I get a lot of money, I'm just going to want to, oh, I'm the one that, I want to have those bragging rights. I'm the one that bought the rest of those. Like I'm the one that sold that, or I was the one that made it sell out. 
I don't, it's just cool. Be like, yeah, I'm the one. Put in three grand. I got all of them from the store. It it doesn't. It's stupid, right? Like, tell me, tell me that's stupid. What do you think they might um burn things other than Marvel, or, or do you think that's going to ever happen? You know, like I see some a lot of the Disney, not a lot. But there's quite a few Disney drops you could still go after, like some of the old posters and such. Um, because I was going to grab a couple of posters and I realized they were still in the store. I'm like, why would I spend $39 for one on the floor when I could, you know, take a spin at a great mint for 40 or something like that. So yeah. I wonder why, um, you know, why it's just been Marvel. Uh, I, I don't know, but I, there's a couple of Disney ones that I think are super on, slept on like Moana and Encanto. Mm -hmm. Those ones haven't sold out. And those are like, and Kanto took over the world in like 2020. Um, yeah. Moana. It's younger, I mean, though. it's younger though. I think Randy, yeah. I think that's part of the problem. The people yeah. buying it aren't the kids. I, I mean, the people buying in here are not children and aren't young kids. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, thirties and up and um, it's just not the, like, I honestly, I didn't go for that drop. You know, it's, it's not familiar to me. It's not, like part of my genre, it's not part of Max's because you know he's old enough past that. So I think it's just kind of that that point in time of when it released versus who's buying right now. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, I mean, although right now you can get Moana for fifty, and her the cheapest that she is on the secondary is sixty eight, so close to sixty nine, one penny away. Yeah, um, sixty nine. Yeah, um, I'm Maui's 28 though, and we we is 60. So I mean, yeah, kind of you're doing a bit of a gamble there. Market cap. <laughs> Can we get some comments on our chat, guys? We've got too many. <laughs> too this is not there. around the, the chuck verse. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Like, don't don't chuck up the stream. Oh, oh Mister Mister 41 uh, just purchased the number 41 uh, Diablo Gold Secret Rare. For the uh for the Lamborghini. He's got, I think, like 130 number 41s. Yeah. Wow. Dude's That's a mad crazy. lad. There's a lot of primo men selling lately. Uh people I don't know who's been going crazy, but people have been just going crazy on yeah. on the special mints lately. And it kind of makes sense, you know. I mean, because you know, we have to kind of think of like I was talking to Will about this the other night. You know, unless you're really, really a collect, like a, a one of those like serious, serious collectors. I mean, we're all collectors, right? Yeah. But they want something that's going to be so different or better or to make them special from somebody else. Low mints is one way, but, you know, those special mints, I mean, you know, they're one of a kind. You, you know what I mean? So I, I really, you know, I kind of eh on the special mints, but now I get that. You know, I get how the 501 Stormtrooper could be the most important that would make you the, you know, the absolute king of kings for the Stormtrooper, you know, no way more than a 42 or a 43. Right? Does that mean yes. you have to have all the ones before that too? Like one to 400 or to 500? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you no, need to but, have all 500 ones. I mean, people do get crazy, though. You know, I do hear some strange, some people that get crazy on the mints. Well, this was the year that it that they announced that they were going to make the movie, and this was the director's birthday. Like, some of it's crazy, but, yeah. you know. Well, some, some, sometimes they push it, too. Like, the numbers are just, like, a, there's, like, an extra number. They're like, I oh, don't worry that one. It's just yeah. like a <laughs> yeah. Well, like, for Disney, I like the 330 mint because it's the only 33 you can get. Um, you know, if BB yeah. kind of yeah. sticks to that, they're not going to release any sub 40s, you know. Or oh, 40. no, he vaults into it as well. Chuck is the reason why Waldo is hiding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know Ogie Vault was interested in Chuck. Wow. God, it seems like everyone's interested in Chuck. Everyone, yeah, it's I mean, it's the only moving thing today, so that also helps. Um, three, three days old, almost five million market cap. Where's this going to be another week? I, I reckon we're going to be over over ten mil easy, probably probably on the way to hundred million market cap. Let's go! <laughs> All right, well, I'll 
I'll, uh, I'll try not to mention Shark Tank. I, I should do a shout out to my sponsor, who's, who's actually paying me for this stream, uh, Epico. If you guys haven't played the game Epico Regal, it's actually really fun. Um, I'm a top 20 player. Randy, did you ever play it? Uh, I did. I did. I uh, I could never play against another human. I was always playing against bots, so I never lost. You have to get high in the rankings, and you get a lot more real-life players. Oh, um, right. I, I'm not sure exactly how the matchmaking works. I've actually spoke to Venkatesh, the CEO, about it, saying, look, if we can get maybe like a separate queue, like a, a, a bot queue and then like a players-only queue, even if you have to wait longer, it would be worth it so you can have more human interaction plays. Because playing with humans is really good because they obviously play very different to the AI. AI. Yeah. Um, I think I've played like four or five matches, uh, maybe a little bit more with, with humans, but uh, I played the best player in the world. He beat me uh, a few days ago. I played number one, number one player. Um, I took out one of his towers though. So yeah, Ep Epico Regal, Epico Games, check them out, uh, epico.io. They are, uh, you know, they're sponsoring this this show and, you know, it's 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 fun. It's, it's, a, it's a gaming one. It's a proper utility token it's a long-term hold they're just uh dropping their token on solana uh, in the next week on jupiter exchange so they're going multi-chain because they're already on ethereum now they're going on solana as well both so you can get it on solana in, in like a, a week um yeah so that's that's my little my little epico sponsored spiel uh, bill gardner's here in the house what's up bill what's up bill gardner hope you're doing well brother Randy, I have a movie for you. Oh, sure. The Beekeeper. What's that? Is that with Nicolas Cage? No, it's with um. Oh, my husband's gonna kill me. Jason, <laughs> is it Statham? Oh, I love Jason Statham. Oh my god, yeah, it was so good, and and the and it talks about oh my god, it it talks about you know well the whole premise is this guy he's like a beekeeper which is like so much better than like any special force unit whatever <laughs> but the reason like he gets all stirred up is because somebody like drains um this lady that's helping him like drains her retirement account so that like you know and it's all through the computer and stuff but there is a reference there like of course they're the bad guys but he's getting ready to like kill one of the bad guys. And he's like, I'll give you whatever you want. I'll give you NFTs. I'll give you crypto. I'll give you anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. So it, it wasn't, they also talked about a, a metaverse and um, a couple other things. So it, it didn't really put crypto or NFTs like in the best light as in like the really bad guys were offering crypto and NFTs. Oh. But, you know, I guess any publicity is, is still publicity. So um, it is becoming part of the, you know, it's really becoming part of the vernacular. I think. Yeah. Um, Good. You know, the more and more movies I see, the more and more I'm starting to see references to crypto. Um, and I, I just thought it was so funny. He was getting ready to like do something horrible. And he's like, I'll give you my NFTs. <laughs> That's awesome. I, um, yeah, I don't, uh, I'd rather them just take my credit cards. I'd rather them just take my wallet. I wouldn't want to give my NFTs. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. There comes a point where it's like I can't do it. I gotta, I, I gotta save the NFTs. Take, take my pinky. Take my, take one of my digits. Maybe not my whole hand, but just take a digit. Oh, he, yeah. Well, he eventually like strapped him to the tail end of a car and took the car over the side of a bridge. So he ended up dying anyways. <laughs> That's but... harsh. That yeah, it, it was a good movie though. I I didn't think I would it would be, but I was like in it the whole time. So well, yeah. I'm, I'm, Laurie, it's funny you said that they mentioned VV. Oh, so not VV. They mentioned NFTs and crypto and stuff. I watched a Kevin Hart movie the other day. I can't remember which was a burglar one, and they also uh, talked about NFTs and crypto, and that was a really big deal in it. It seems to be like all movies now are generally mentioning at least crypto, if not NFTs, as well in them. It's yes. it's becoming a lot more mainstream. Is it is. Like and this rough. is how it happens. Right. I mean, I, I, I mean, it does go back, you know, it, it happens through, te you know, television and movies has a big impact on us. Um, you know, a, a lot of like a, a lot of things that become eventually become mainstream start off, you know, start off in, in television and so, in the movies. So it's called lift lift. I just remember the name lift. Yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely a good sign of adoption because you see that in, you know, if you go back and you look at, at different things, whether it be homosexuality or biracial couples or whatever, you know, 
television and movies really kind of opened the door. Now, you know, that's not necessarily the same thing as crypto. <laughs> but, yeah, that's not a joke, you know. <laughs> Um, but it, but it's true, um, because that's what we do, right? You know, that, that that's what we do. We we like to be entertained. So, do you um, guys know anything about this? The stock airdrop? Um, I I don't really know anything about that. Um, you'd have oh. to ask the team, ask ask the Akomi team. Yeah, I've no idea. Yeah. So it's because no. stock airdrop somehow. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it's going to be mainstream. I mean, BlackRock getting into crypto really pushed the narrative forward, right? And they're they're doing a lot of um they're also get going to real world assets. Do you guys know much about that? R R W A real world real world assets as a as a narrative for for crypto. Randy, oh yeah, because you know? they don't. Yeah, they're not allowed to mention crypto. They have to go in and call them yeah digital assets or real world assets. Well, no, a real real world assets is sort of like a genre of of crypto. So like ones that tokenize things. So R R I O Rio you might have heard that token before. Uh, Rain, Rain's mentioned it in the past. And I ran, um, uh, Danny has it as well, and I've I've got some as well. It's Rio R I O. That's like a re real real estate one, realty something. I can't remember what it's exactly called, but basically they they will tokenize like real estate. You can buy and sell it with crypto, and uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones with it. BlackRock, uh, Larry Fink said they're going to tokenize everything, so it means that a lot okay. of assets will be on the blockchain and tokenized. Almost like an almost like an ETF, I guess, but for different individual things, but on the on the blockchain. So it's like, yeah, that's that's a big narrative now. So I, I got into two different ones. One's called Trade, the other one's called Rio, and they're both uh, in the RWA space, and they've both been blowing up. So it's, it's so like what is this? What is it? Are they the ones that are actually like tokenizing real world assets? Yeah, they're, that's it. Real world assets. Yeah, that's their company. Them. But that's their their thing, right? Taking real estate and so trade trade is like a marketplace where you can tokenize okay. anything and then put it up, almost like an eBay, but okay. to you tokenizing it. So I don't know exactly the process of how it works, uh, but I do know that uh, it's gaining a lot of momentum and steam. This this run mostly because Larry Fink keeps every time he Larry Fink talks about it publicly on TV, the tokens just start blowing up. Like mm. Rio did like fifty percent, one hundred percent, like a couple of days. And uh, trade trades done the same, um, oh. but yeah, it's it's interesting how the you only need a little bit of news from these. Here you go, uh, Rio tokenizes real estate, but they they do more than that as well. Yeah, it's a narrative like gaming and AI. So that that's yeah. actually those three there, are probably the three biggest. Other than memes, is RWA gaming and AI for this for this bull run. Hmm. Um, obviously, I think NFTs will run later as well. Sort of uh, VV is a little bit on the gaming spectrum with. Um, with Vverse, once that comes out, is that sort of like a playable um, game? I would say that would be like the metaverse first. The gamification, I don't think we actually get until some point next year, because um, they they still have to do IP branded worlds, which we we don't know. But hopefully, we get that this year. Um, if you if you if you can go into it and bring your friends in, that's still sort of a game. Like uh, yeah, you can I make your own game. Alt, I count Alt Space as a VR game, and that was um that was just a a place you could hang out, like just some rooms. Um, yeah. What, yeah. what I kind of want to see is them advertising a little bit, e even if it's just themselves. Like, so they had a, I, f I forget who it was, but some New Zealand media company like featured VV in like one of their stories, one of their magazines. Like, hey, here's one of the companies you need to know about, uh, and it was VV. And I feel like magazines are cool if it's like Rolling Stone or if it's something like the Popular Mechanics, something like that. But um, you know, doing like a piece for a New Zealand article is like, you know, who's going to see that? Like outside of us, um, I think Rolling Stone would be good. I, I just like again, even if it's just about the team and it's not necessarily about VV, just to get their names out there, I think would be a good idea. Oh yeah, we've got Ten Goku too, which is the main game. It's three games, so definitely a gaming token this run. So o Obi will count as a gaming token, I guess, as well. Hope so. So Obi will hit Metaverse, uh, obviously NFTs and gaming. It's three men, three narratives for this bull run, hopefully. Be cool if they get they can hit the AI narrative somehow. I know David used talked about using AI in Vverse. Yeah. So that'll be pretty cool. Can't wait for that. I'm if so excited just, for that to happen. If you can just tokenize some stuff too of RWA, we can hit all the narratives. <laughs> <laughs> Did um do you guys see that guy Fiddy.eth? He posted about the Board Ape Yacht Club event in LA. 
uh behind the weed shop is that the yeah. one so they, so they the, all of their parties used to be super high end they had celebrities yeah. over there right and then now it's literally just in a parking lot behind a, a weed shop um <laughs> like how the mighty have fallen like it got yeah, like a over a million views but i really like that mr mc1 vv viral and a bunch of other people were going and posting here's what vv parties look like and yeah, epic. yeah like marvel attached to vv in like the booths and everything in the mainstream yeah yeah what are those things going for these days what board apes board apes oh, I don't know. a lot less a lot less <laughs> I think they're still worth something. Like they're probably in the ten thousand dollar range. They used to be in the hundred thousand dollar range, right? I know. That's why I asked. Yeah, hundreds Sometimes of yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. So it'd be it'd be great if we get that liquidity going to VV. Like that would be awesome. Yeah. Eventually. The uh, part of the you guys want to why... wrap it up? What was it? Hour and a half? Like, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Um, I just want to leave out. Like, so I think celebrities are great. Most of them. Uh, half of them maybe, but it's like if you have a celebrity that you're endorsing with the company, um, or if they're endorsing you, like they have an NFT or they have Omi, whatever, like you know, wind the clocks back. I I didn't know. I I just always thought P Diddy was a cool actor or whatever. You know, wind the clocks back. You know, a couple months ago, oh, we got P Diddy. That's awesome. And then, <laughs> you know, now now P Diddy's just like on the run. He's like a most wanted man. <laughs> So I, it's it's hard. Celebrities are hard to to try to get, but yeah, we we could wrap. I it wouldn't up. want any celebrities at the moment. <laughs> just, just wait till the end of this year when uh when when all the dust is settled. We need a squeaky clean Taylor Swift, Chris Evans type of. Celebrity. I don't know if you saw Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl, right? She's sitting next to this crazy, demonic lady doing like demonic stuff right next to her. We all have weird friends. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yes. I know, but yes, we you know, do. She, Randy, she yes. hang out with these people. Like, what's the odd, you know, what's the chance that she's in that sort of club? I don't know. Lori, am I your weird friend? <laughs> <laughs> Randy, you're everyone's weird friend. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> no, we, we love you. We love you, Randy. So oh. check out. So board was three hundred thousand, and now they're going for about forty-four thousand. I think it's like an average because obviously some some went for like a million dollars. Okay. No. Oh. Those will probably rise again, though. I mean, they probably ice will. Spice. What's Ice Spice? <laughs> uh, I think oh, she's the a, one that was doing was, the demonic things. Yeah, she she was doing like the the Naruto hand movements. Um, and she's wearing yeah. like all black and stuff as well. Like she's Which is fine. You know, it's black as emo. You know, it's nice. I like emo. Yeah, but, but yeah, I, I used to really like that look when I was younger. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, do you have pictures from then? Did you have like the <laughs> hair that like went covered half your face? Oh no no! I meant girls. I liked girls that had the emo look. Oh, all right, you were. Yeah. Right. You were that was like my, <laughs> that was one of like my type back in the day when I was in my early twenties. Well, oh, yeah. all right. So you were you were an adult though. Like I, I emo well, phase. Late, we'll say late teens. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh well, you said it wasn't you. It was just the girls. Like, like okay, that's fine. That you know, yeah, you yeah. like them at any age. Um, I don't know. I I was emo when I was younger. It was good times. I remember you um, had black nails, right? When you first started streaming. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was, it was emo. Got a, you know, emo is life. Anyway, you said we were wrapping it up. For yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get distracted easily here. So, uh, and we haven't even had breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to have a good meal. All right, all right. Well, um, yeah, just to give everyone your leaving thoughts with uh, with Omi and Vivi and, uh, you know, the space in general. What do you think they should uh, take away from this today? Laurie, we start Sorry, Lori. Oh, put yeah, me on the spot. Now, Randy looked like he wanted to just wanted to talk. So, oh, okay. Um, you have, you know, David and Dan. Typically, Dan's never. I don't think Dan's ever been on my show. Uh, David's been on a bunch of times, but uh, they, they don't usually go on uh, different or or the, or the same podcasts or media interviews. And now they're doing two in one week. Now, obviously, it's both comic related, which is great. That's fun. Um, they're really leaning into telling everyone, hey, we got the keys. You know, Marvel gave us the keys to their whole comic book shop, which is great. Um, this is one of the big verticals this year. I can't wait to do more. But keep, keep a lookout for them. Keep a lookout for Omi to NFT in, in the coming weeks or months. Um, good times ahead. And Laurie, That's what it. do you want to tell the people? What do I want to tell the people? Um... 
Well, I guess I would just say, um, once again, look for uh, look for things that might be overlooked because definitely I think that there are still things there that have a lot of potential. Um, and as I always say, let's just be patient. And um, I can't wait to see what we get for our drop for uh, holding our Omi. So I think that'll be really a... a when is that? Is that like soon? Supposed to be, right, Randy? It's supposed to be... Uh, for what? Yes. For a collectible for holding Omi. Oh yeah, uh, they haven't officially said when. I'm assuming the snapshot was today, and then they'll yeah. go and give it to us next amount of days. But they'll probably tell us what it is first before they drop it, and say like, "Hey, expect this." Goku, Goku. I saw someone did a fake post showing Goku. Did you Dude, see that the lady? people. Yeah, uh, I saw somebody. So I understand like what Vivi did is fun. You know, the Goku is fun, but the somebody had posted this morning. A, a post it made it look like a screenshot from twitter where vv had said like okay hey guys we have to um we have to shut down the app we can no longer provide um you know high end you know high end collectibles and i was like i like the end this fucking person is like you know people are going to believe you right and uh so yeah i was yeah that's kind of my fear with ai too um you know, what do you, you're not going to believe, be able to believe anything. You yeah. know what I mean? Eventually. Um, yeah. It's scary. True. It's true. Well, yeah, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming. I know it's, uh, you know, we'll be all over the place today. I mean, that's what I like how this show is just, we have fun. We talk, we have a good time. Um, yeah. Again, thanks to my sponsor, Epico Games. Uh, you know, check out, you know, the latest VV Omi stuff. Make sure you check out Chuck if you haven't. No pressure. Don't buy anything. <laughs> um, and yeah, make sure you check. Uh, stay tuned for next week, and we'll see you again soon. See you guys. Bye, guys.